everywhere. So why should I even worry about anything? So all I need to worry about is just to be a saver on your people. This um, this was popularized by Srimati M.S. Subalakshmi. She is a very uh, popular artist and she's performed in UN and won laurels. And this is her centenary anniversary and so we would like to uh, present on her. Oh, <laughs> 
first of all, good evening, everybody. And um, Sri Chani Jr. Swamiji. Okay, if I messed it up, I do apologize. But welcome to the township of Parsippany, Troy Hills. And I, and I can tell you this, we're the fifth best place to live in the United States of America uh, by CNN Money Magazine. Uh, and that, that means a lot to me as a mayor. I've been here since uh, a toddler in Parsippany, and I'm very proud. One of the things I'm proud of as mayor is our Indian community here in Parsippany. Um, when I was interviewed by Money Magazine, they asked me a lot of questions. And one of the questions was, why do you think you should be the best place to live? in New Jersey at the time, and I said, because we have a diversity in here for Symphony. We are, a, a, we are truly a melting pot. And I said, if the world can see how Parsippany gets along, it would be a better place, because we all get along with each other. Um, but when I became the mayor, and I'm gonna lead up to the Swam Swamiji, when I became the mayor, I realized one thing, you have to have communication. So one of the first things that I did was, I have a representative from the Indian community, his name is Jigar Shah, and he represents certain areas. And now, as I expanded more as mayor into my seventh year, um, I've met many wonderful people. We have a gentleman, his name is Sridath Reddy, who's on our planning board, and our zoning board, excuse me. And he's a, he's a benchmark in the community, especially in the Mazabrook part of, the, of Parsippany. And I, have to, I, I want to thank him for what he does. Now we have, An I can never say the name right, Ang Angini? Okay, let me tell you why this is important for me. I went to the cancer walk that um, VT Siva Parsippany had, and I understand cancer. I was nine years old and we lost my brother at 10 years old to a brain tumor. So I, I could never really grasp the word cancer, ever. And I get emotional when I talk about it because that was a big time, and I lived in Parsippany when we lost my brother, that I just could not understand why God would take my brother. And I get emotional about it because I became the only son in an Italian-American family. You're like a god when you're the only son. <laughs> I can tell you that. Three sisters who were the greatest, greatest human beings on the face of this earth. I love my sisters very much. They took care of me practically. But my mother and father's hearts were broken. But I could never really get why that happened. But at the time as I grew up and I became mature and I had my own children, I realized one thing. There is a god. There's no doubt about it. I can tell you... Because if there wasn't a God, my brother's death would have been normal. But since it was abnormal, there's a God. But today, I have to tell you, I experienced something today. And the reason why I bring Angini up is because she does this cancer walk. And I hid from it for years. I would never, even as a mayor, when I first became the mayor, I had the Relay for Life come to me and ask me, could I participate? I said, I don't want anything to do with cancer. But then, as time came on, I realized I'm a representative of the community that I have to. Today, I met the Swamiji, and I just told him, my job's very stressful. I had no hair when I came in, so you really can't tell the difference. <laughs> but Swamiji, I have to tell you, when I met you in your presence, you put a calm over me. And I, that's very unusual to happen to me. <laughs> it was, calmed me down, my heart was racing because I never met a Swamiji before. <laughs> but that being said, you touched my heart immediately. I had a calm over me, I felt comfortable. Um, I don't know, should I sit next to the Swamiji? I don't know, should I? And you invited me up to sit next to you. Let me tell you something, that means a lot to me. It means a lot, and I tell you, when somebody does that, they're actually reaching out. You speak from your heart without even speaking. And that's a beautiful thing. I can't speak your language, but my mother and father to teach me one thing, to speak from the heart. Mm -hmm. And I do that for a reason. Because it's, it's the best that can come out of me and what God has given me. I want to use it. I want to share it. One more thing before I hand it over to the council president is the fact that I love what you do here in the community of Parsippany. And I thank you for all your efforts and everything that you do. And it's important. We would never be the number one best place to live in New Jersey if it wasn't for everybody here. And one more thing to you, Swamiji. Thank you, and God bless you, even though I, I shouldn't be blessing you. <laughs> but that being said, you bless me in your presence tonight. Thank you, and God bless you. Hello, everyone. My name is Lou Valori, and I'm truly honored to be here to meet everyone. And Swamiji, thank you very much. And uh, I will just say, truly from the heart, 
being a police officer in the town for almost 25 years and uh, getting the opportunity to work with a lot of the community and with their children. I, I, I'm really honored to see the individuals like Angie to be involved with not only the cancer walk, with the food drive, with the uh, raising of money and funds for the, the blind, and uh, with uh, Mr. Reddy, who's working right now at the zoning board, being very involved with the community, along with Mr. Jiggershaw. I truly, truly, truly am honored to see individuals like that step up in the community, and that's what makes your community so wonderful. And uh, again, I'm honored to be here, and the mayor speaks from his heart. I can't follow his act. And again, I thank you all for allowing us to be here, and I'm honored, and thank you very much. Ready? Gopi Krishna, GKTV. So today, in participating in New Jersey, so we have like, you know, Chinajir Swami program is happening for that. Kids prepared and kids did amazing job. So let's find out exactly like, you know, how the preparation went and what all they did from their teacher. So can you brief a little bit about the program and how long they're preparing? You know? Yeah. Uh, Narayana. Um, we are in J Karnatic, Karnatic uh, uh, music class. We are classically based Karnatic uh, trained uh, kids down here. They have been learning for the last six to seven years. And uh, we are very happy uh, that we got an opportunity and the kids had um, a, a wonderful experience learning Sri Ramanujacharya's uh, songs, Kritis and Bhajans and performing in front of Swami Sri Sri uh, Chinaji or Swamiji. And um, uh, the, the part that amazed me was kids being here their pronunciation and their dedication in learning the song. We just came to know out, uh, about this last week, and within a week they learned the song that uh, not only this, the bhajans, plus we had uh, some kids who were trained in uh, Mridangam Dolak and accompanying us, and um, and they were very patient. The parents were very patient. Thank you very much. I had to ask them to come on evenings uh, in this cold weather. We had a practice yesterday night, 2 till 9 o'clock, and we are here, and we are blessed to perform in front of this. So thank you very much. Kids, can you guys tell you know, how your preparation went? Anybody? Good. Okay. So, uh, we originally started like um, a weekly, roughly twice a week. Um, we we had like preparation two, for, for two, two and a half hours, um, learning and rehearsing each of the songs. Um, my brother Gampard, I had to learn how each of the Sangatis went, and so I practiced a lot at home, and it was pretty fun. Thank you. So, any, any other kids do you want to say? Do you want to say anything? Or? No, I'm um, just fortunate forward. to uh, have this opportunity and uh, sing in front of uh, Swamiji. Um, we, we are blessed with his uh, uh, presence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So any, any other kids, like you guys want to say, like how long you guys prepared every day and what are all you have to sacrifice? <laughs> <laughs> I practice for one hour. Every day? Yes. Wow. For how long? For How like, many, like a month, or two months, or two weeks. So it looks like pretty long, right? <laughs> right, right. So like every day looks like they prepared and they did amazing job, and it looks like it's a blessing to you, right, in in front of uh, Chinajir Swami. And thank you so much once again. So GKTV, thank you. Okay. Yeah, you thank you. So Gopi Krishna GKTV. So you know just Manaku. So they performed happy birthday song for J.R. Swami. So let's find out how the preparation went and uh, how, like, no, how long they did and uh, like, no, how, like, no, like, uh, how happy they are. Looks like they're all excited. Can you guys tell a little bit about this? Jai Shri Manarayana. We are very, very fortunate to be in front of uh, Sri Chinajiya Swamiji. And the kids were also very, very fortunate to get this opportunity to perform in front of Swamiji. That too, a happy birthday song on uh, violin for uh, Swamiji. He was very happy and he blessed the kids with uh, his golden uh, coins. And uh, like, you know, his, he was very, uh, yeah. They were uh, very excited about it. And uh, they also uh, learned the Pragna Shlokas and uh, recited in front of uh, Swamiji. Swamiji was also very happy about it. And uh, uh, kids took a tremendous effort in uh, uh, 
learning the violin uh, happy birthday song and uh, playing in front of gr swami ji is a you know it's it, it's it itself is a privilege so they did a very good job in uh, uh, doing within a short span of time so thank you very much and if you guys want to say anything yeah i'm one of the parents and uh, it took us 3 weeks to prepare for this uh, song and they played it on flute and violin and uh, actually the kids were interested in doing it and they were so happy to see swami ji and we it's a dream dream come true because we are so close to swami ji which never happens in india so uh, the kids are really blessed and we feel like we are blessed so much great kids you guys want to say how you guys prepared yeah. for this yeah. um it took us a lot of time to prepare but we got it great amazing job um first of all i played flute wow <laughs> Yeah, she said only violin, but it's okay. Um it took us a pretty much a long time, maybe like a f- 3 or 4 weeks maybe. Wow. So it 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 was really a great time, great thing to do as it's Swami ji which means he's a ve- he's very So it's a fortunate for you guys yeah. to perform because yeah. like no performing others other areas where like common yeah. people is there but yeah. in front of Swami ji who is such a famous person like uh, it's a wonderful opportunity for you guys and yeah. thank you uh, once again from GK TV thanks a lot Gopi thank you. Gopi Krishna GK TV so we have some kids here like they are doing volunteering program for years for Chennai Swami is VT Seva or multiple activities right so let's try to find out you know what exactly they did can you brief little bit yeah. Um we are from Fiji Saver Parsippany in northern New Jersey. We've done many activities such as Mamata and Vidya for Perfection, which has raised uh thousands of dollars for the blind school in India named Nitya Vidyalaya, which is uh sponsored by um VT Seva. It's one of the only blind schools in India and it's the only one that lets them use computer and technology like on a modern basis. So you so you want to say something? Well, I'm part of I started joining BD Save last a couple years ago and it's like a really great experience. I like it like benefited me and it made me feel like a better person. Very nice, amazing. Um overall like for BT Save for Symphony what we do is like we do many activities such as Mamata which she mentioned before. We have the cancer walkathons that we do every year which are really beneficial and cooking for a cause which is really fun but we also got to learn and raise money for the awareness. Amazing program. So looks like like Swami ji is inspiring uh, like a lot of youth here to motivate them and to help the society. Looks like they are proud of it, right? Yeah. So appreciate it. Thank you very much G- Gopi Krishna GK TV. గోపి కృష్ణ జీకే టీవీ మనకు వచ్చేసి చిన్నజయర్ స్వామి కోసం ఇక్కడ వచ్చిన మనకు ప్రేమ్ జీ కానీ సో మనకు లోకల్ లీడరు ప్లస్ రెడ్డి బ్రదర్స్ ప్లాజా ఓనరు భగ భగవాన్ రెడ్డి కూడా ఇక్కడ ఉన్నారు సో మీకు గల అనుభవం అనుబంధాన్ని సో హౌ డు యూ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దాట్ సో చిన్నజయర్ స్వామి ఐ మీన్ హీ ఈజ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ గ్రేట్ స్పిచువలిస్ట్ బట్ ద మెయిన్ థింగ్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ద సర్వీస్ ద సర్వీస్ హిజ్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఈజ్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ టు స్పెషలీ టు తెలుగు కమ్యూనిటీ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ um in andhra pradesh in telangana that's outstanding and as as we just signed the presentation um that's about the netra institute the blind people uh, for the blind students there there was no college all over india but this is the first college for the blind people so it's real outstanding you can tell some few words so it's commendable and all we should support you know vt seva and china jet swami great and great so so me me pair sir what's your no, name you can speak the uh, okay, can you say a little like, like wa, wa, your relation with the chanajer swami's program well my neighbor prutvi and they are highly involved in that one and they invited me to come here and it's excellent program what they are doing is they are doing excellent uh, community service for again the cancer as well as other places not there so it's really appreciated great and great so now we have like you know, like local community leader uh, mr bhagwan ad pingal can you please uh, tell how because you know, like i see like all the time you come for this service right can you brief little bit dear swami garu chaala community ki chaala chestunadu aine 
వర్డ్ పీస్ అండ్ హార్మోనీ అందరూ ఈక్వల్ అనేది స్ప్రెడ్ చేస్తున్నాడు రామాంజనేయ స్వామి చేసిన థౌజండ్స్ ఇయర్స్ క్రితం రామాంజనేయ స్వామి గారు చేసిన విషయాలందరినీ ఇప్పటికీ ప్రజల దగ్గర తీసుకుపోగలుగుతున్నాడు ఈజ్ ఏ ఈజ్ డూయింగ్ గ్రేట్ సర్వీస్ అంటే ఒక చిన్న పిల్లలకు మన యొక్క రిలీజియన్ గురించి వాళ్ళకు నేర్పి మన కల్చర్ను ఇంకా వరల్డ్ వైడ్గా స్ప్రెడ్ చేస్తున్నాడు ఈజ్ ఏ గ్రేట్ పర్సన్ ఈజ్ ఏ గ్రేట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ అండి థ్యాంక్స్ అ లాట్ గోపీకృష్ణ జీకే టీవీ పార్టిసిపెంట్ న్యూస్ గోపీకృష్ణ జీకే టీవీ స్వామీజీ యువర్ కర లైక్ నో లైక్ యు ఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు స్ప్రెడ్ వైష్ణవిజం అండ్ అండ్ టు లైక్ నో లైక్ వాట్ ఐ మీన్స్ లైక్ నో లైక్ సో నవీ డేస్ ఐ డోంట్ వాంట్ టు హర్ట్ యూ ఇన్ ఇన్ సచ్ వే బట్ దెర్ ఆర్ సో మెనీ ఫేక్ బాబాజీస్ ఆర్ దేర్ సో దిస్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ కన్ఫ్యూజన్ అమాంగ్ ద పీపుల్ రైట్ హౌ డూ యూ థింక్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ నో లైక్ ఫర్ కామన్ మ్యాన్ టు డిస్టింగ్విష్ దాట్ అండ్ వాట్ వాట్ సార్ట్ ఆఫ్ మెసేజ్ యూ వాంట్ టు కన్వే ఈవెన్ ఫ్రమ్ ద లైక్ నో బికాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ హైయర్ లెవెల్ కనెక్షన్స్ రైట్ సో ఈజ్ దెర్ ఎనీ వే టు కంట్రోల్ దాట్ యూ నో it's not how the person appears and it's also not what he does that matters there is some ka- kind of uh, authoritativeness behind everything a person works in a country he needs to follow the constitution of that country thus he becomes a responsible citizen of that particular country to work with and so also when you are living here in this world there is some authority behind which i think everybody should follow that is our scriptures so for us people coming from a tradition called vaishnavism we have authority behind us called vedas so vedas talk about many things as how we have to conduct ourselves how we have to be in the world <coughs> and how we have to see do things also so if one follows that vedic dictums i think we can take them authority if they are not following then let them be great in other senses but but we don't care okay so like in in, in terms of succeeding in the us right because a lot of people even for me look like it's just very difficult to understand like no upanishad and all those right yes. so what is the simple form you know like no like you have like a lot of videos i, I saw that you know like i try to understand 50% some of them are like very critical and i know like you are trying your level best to you know give good knowledge to the society to make that but is there any simplest way you know like uh, i know there's nothing is simple but to to make this society you are trying your hard right so is is there any thing else you are doing for the kids especially for the youth you know like you are traveling the world and then you trying right so what is the best you know like in in like a one minute way to see that oh, this is the way approach you know like no like i, I saw that your links and all so yes. is, is there anything else like no you are trying you know, like your team or is there any uh, you know what you expect to you do that to others i think that is what the veda says in brief i means you respect probably you expect from people that they should respect you they should not hurt you either by word or deed or something like that so you also should not hurt anybody you should not do anything wrong to others you should not uh, Uh, grab anything from others or you should not suppress anybody you should not dominate anything because you don't want that to happen to you from others so don't do such things to others that itself is the greatest message that vedas gave to us and that's what our gurus did and we don't want to excavate we don't want to create anything new to us but we want to simply follow 
the words what our great gurus said. We want to follow the good path shown to us, to the world in general, by our great gurus. And at the same time, we want to be always humble to all the devotees. So truly appreciate it, Swamiji. So, like, can you tell uh, in one minute about like, you know, like uh, the statue of equality you are trying? Mm. So, like, are you saying that you know, like uh, all uh, community in terms of like ir irrespective of religion is that what the purpose of that? Because the statue of equality, what we call it, stands for the value of equality. Basically, that means. Everybody in this world and all people in this world should be equally treated before God. In terms of their own abilities, yes, there may be ups and downs. It they will be obviously there everywhere. So one, because of his high intellectual ability, may be able to produce more and earn more and enjoy more. Somebody may be having the less amount of uh, the brain capability, and he may be earning a bit lesser and just enjoying things. That's okay. But it doesn't mean that you have to disrespect others. It doesn't mean that you have to suppress others. So we have to feel that equality before God with everyone and see that minimum things should be distributed equally for everyone. This is what the common law of the world. That's why our Acharyas always said, usually people say, no, serving humanity is service to God. But uh, uh, our Acharya said in a different way. Man has taken probably this much as serving humanity service to God and started killing animals, killing birds, and cutting trees, and polluting the air, and spoiling the water, and causing the breach to the ozone and stuff like that. But our Acharya has never said that, you know, you have to disrespect them. So serving humanity alone never becomes service to God because God is in everything and He was the one who is responsible for everything to happen. So uh, the message of our Acharya and, and of course from the Vedas is that serve all beings as service to God because everything becomes a part of God. That means you do things good to anything. That means to keep it in its own status. That means if you keep a tree as it should grow well, that is a service to God because God is there in that too. Excellent point, Swamiji. And one last question is like, no. so now I don't want to talk about the age, but you look so young and then you still, you know, like you're standing there for hours and hours and I met you on Sunday also. And wh what is the secret? Is it a diet or is the meditation or is it like, no, like uh, you know, like if you don't mind him? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do bad things is a secret of the good health. <laughs> I don't think bad that itself is a good secret to the health. <laughs> don't eat rough stuff and you know, junk things, you know, that itself is a secret of the good health. So, <laughs> do good, be good always. I think everybody can live a healthy and, you know, happiest life. That's all it is. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Swamiji. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Gopi Krishna, GKTV. Today, we have New Jersey, Chenna Jayar Swami, and we have a lot of people. So, this is the media coordinator, Javna Garu. So, Javna Garu, you have a lot of people here. So, what are you trying to achieve here? JET USA started in 1994. Here, Chenna Jayar Ashram is on the day road. In 1994 to 2016, 18 years, 22 years, we have been all over the years. मैं मो 2002 लो प्रेग्नेंस स्टार्ट चेस नामो पिल्ले लेकिन 2008 लो वॉलेंटियरिंग टुगेदर वाली वीटी सेवान चेस नामो तरवता ईरो ई ईरोज जरूरत ना ई कार्यक्रम मो श्रीनवासा कल्याणन जरूरत ना दी सोमरसेट यूक्रेनियन कल्चरल सेंटर लो बक्तलो ऑल वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ फ्रॉम थ्री ट्राई स्टेट एरिया नंची वो चिपाल गुन्त ना रो ये कल्याण हम लोक कल्याण कोसमनी स्वाम चिन्नजी अर्गरो वारे आधार लो जरूरत नी टू हैगेट पीस एंड टू एवरीबॉडीज वेलफेयर ये रोजो ये कल्याण आन की वचना आतितलांदर नी चाला लोपल चाला गनंगा जरूरत होंडे एक्चुअल का निन्न में मु स्टैच्यू ऑफ इक्वालिटी यानी सेम्शा बाद लो 2016 फीट सिटिंग स्टैच्यू द बिगेस्ट 216 स्टैच्यू सिटिंग स्टैच्यू वस्तु ने रामानुज लवारी विग्रह मो रामानुजा इसे सोशल 
philosopher. At the same time, he is a radical social reformer uh, who fought for uh, equality among all. Uh, there is there was no discrimin there was so much discrimination that time. Uh, in, that was in 1017. Uh, 1017. Uh, he fought for it and he established. Uh, there were so, so many reforms he introduced all over the temple from Kanyakumari to Kashmir. Saraswati uh, gave him the award. Goddess Saraswati gave him the award Bhashyakara. And if you go to Balaji, Tirmala temple or Sri Rangam temple, so many South Indian temples. Uh, as a bhakti, uh, bhakti poem, movement pioneer, Ramanuja introduced so many reforms and made that everybody is equal before the eyes of God, so he made so many changes. And Vari statue, 2017 lo, uh, Pradhani Modi Garu really, uh, inaugurated Che both naru, Shamshabad uh, Ashram lo. Nina Eve Karakram gurinchi fundraising jari gindi. Uh, chal Dada po all tri-state uh, big big people uh, devotees hochi palgon naru. Me mandram mo request chese dente. We want everybody to take participate in that. Uh, if any business industrialist come, he wants to own it. That shouldn't be there. We want, Swamiji wants everybody, all works, even one rupee, 50 cent is fine. But he wants to, everybody to participate so that it is our, uh, we should, everybody should feel that it's our own thing. And uh, sta go, please visit our website, statueofequality.org. And for jet uh, programs, Please visit Jet New Jersey, JetUSA.org or chinagr.guru.com. Uh, you will get all the details. And as a devotee, I request everybody to participate in all Jet programs. Jai Shri Narayan. Thank you so much. And do you want to say any? Yes. Jai Shri Narayan. Sri 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 Tridhan Jineswamvaru, US law visit Jestunaru, almost all any state lo Tirigi. Statue of Equality Gurinch Pracharam Jesto, uh, Uche Samachram, November, October, November, Masam Lo, uh, 216 feet uh, sitting position low under 20, world tallest statue, Hyderabad Lo, Shamshabad Lo, Pristap Najagabotundi, Daniki, Narendra Modi Garu, Pradana Mantri, Narendra Modi Garu, Vichesi, Prarambosa Karakram Lo Paragon Punaru, Ade Visham Lo, Swamvar Daniki. Andar ini kuda dah, a project lo involve caya lan cepi. Andar itu tu kuda sahayamu request chase tu. Ever itu ever itu view lan itu walau kuda dah ni contribute caya lan sendiri ka kurtu naro. Adz sandar bumbler ina memu fundraising event jeshi. We raised about six hundred thousand dollars towards that project, and we are expecting to do more. We have, our target is one million dollars. So please, we request all devotees. Please come forward and uh, participate in that program and get blessed with uh, Swamiji and uh, Ramanuja. Ramanuja is the Acharya for uh, our Lord Venkateshwara. So if we get blessings from the Ramanuja, we will definitely get blessing from Lord Venkateshwara also. So we request all devotees to come forward and participate and donate as much as possible. Thank you, Jai Shri Manarai. Thank you very much, Andy. So you guys want to say anything? Uh, Jai Shri Manarai, Andy. My name is Vijita. I am a Jet USA volunteer. We are a Raganjali team. We are a song snake. We are a Sahasrabdi Kosam. Next year, Ramanuja Sahasrabdi Kosam. That's a very nice... Uh, okay, you, you're learning here and you're practicing here. You want to do that in Hyderabad? Yeah. We did all the we did. Oh, yeah. we, we, we already did this program two weeks back in Dallas. When, no, no, when she said that for next year you guys are preparing. So like you are preparing all these and then you are going to do that yes. on, on final day. Mm -hmm. So amazing. Yeah, we are doing. Uh, and we did the uh, event uh, two weeks back in Dallas. It was a very good success. So next year we are going to do in uh, Shamshabad for Ramanuja Sahasrab. About one lakh people are going to participate in this uh, Raganjali program. One lakh singers is going to participate. Two weeks back we did it in Dallas. Around 1,600 singers participated. Like we do it for Tyagaraja Saga and uh, like that we performed here. It was a great uh, event. Everybody in a uniform dress and uh, praising Ramanuja. It was, you know, we had a uh, positive vibrations all over. So we thank Swamiji for uh, giving this opportunity. Thank you so singers, much. Singers, singers coming from all 
over world. And uh, it's about one lakh singers sitting in one place and singing about Ramanujan. Great and great and so do you want to say anything? Jai Shiman Narayanath, my name is Giri Vedantam. I uh, am a JET volunteer. Uh, we have uh, here, like, like everybody has mentioned, Swamiji has, uh, Chinaji Swamiji has started an ashram here, Jir Ashramam. That's the first outside uh, of uh, India, an ashram in uh, US. And uh, there we have con conduct uh, pragya classes, which are cultural classes for our kids, where they learn about our culture and also not only the values of our culture, and uh, tra rich traditional uh, values. And uh, basically for, for them it also, they, we teach them how it is, those values are relevant today and whatever the, what is the culture, how is it relevant today and it's not an orthodox culture. So we try to educate them on that. So thank you very much. And Jamuna Garu, I am going to talk to you about the airport. So it's not like one day event, like for so many years you guys are doing. So it looks like a musical event, it's a very mega event. So wish you good luck with that. And then, you know, like me, me the Hyderabad program, is it like just a musical or it's like, like more like Ramanujam? Like it's an inauguration. It's an inauguration. The statue inauguration, ki musical the, event is yes. going to be the highlight for that. One of the highlights. Great. One of the event is musical program and where one lakh uh, devotees is going to sing songs for Sri Ramanuja. Uh, these songs are coined by all the devotees, priests, uh, scholars. So one of the songs is also we wish Swamiji is going to give us. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. GKTV, New Jersey.